Hey there, it's Tanya Stokes, and welcome to my channel. Hey, before we get lost in this beautiful home, I want you to subscribe to my channel, and please, I want you to think of anyone in your network that's in the market to purchase a home or maybe even sell their home and forward my channel to them. Of course, if there's ever a time you need to reach me, my number is 704-756-2752 or email me at info at tanyastokes.com or log on to my website at tstokeshomes.com. So I spent the day in Gastonia. Yes. I love Gastonia. It's a cute town. I stumbled upon this house. It's in a uh, Eastwood home property. It's in Gastonia. It's the Davison. This house is absolutely stunning. It's a three story, six bedroom, five and a half bath home with a designated office, which you see right now. Notice the beautiful tray ceilings, the craftsman trimming. Uh, you see a lot of transom windows as well as clear story windows. Now I've learned to love them. Uh, it brings in a lot of natural lighting. And let me tell you, if you've ever been in a home that does not have enough windows, <laughs> which will not give you the natural lighting that you need, um, you'll it's a big, big difference. And it's why I always mention the natural lighting you hear me talk about all the natural lighting that comes into a house when i'm showing you property this house also has an alternate designer kitchen it's beautiful it is an upgrade it also has the upgraded cabinetry with the butler's pantry and it has a beautiful farmhouse sink tile backsplash gas cooktop and a built-in wall oven this is a great space if you have a large family or if you entertain a lot. Uh, this beautiful, spacious family room uh, has a gas stack stone fireplace with the smart connection technology package. Again, most of what you see is an upgrade. So let's talk about the first floor guest suite with a full bath and outdoor living package. You've got to see this in person. It is, it's, it's just a great design. Like the design team for Eastwood Home left nothing to the imagination like the entire time i was in the house like oh my gosh <laughs> like am i gonna put in an offer on this house you gotta see this in person of course as i said a lot of what you see is an upgrade but this first floor guest uh bathroom or this first floor guest suite i should say um, is a part of the package and um, again it's a must see you've got to see this in person i like the way that um, you could close off that door you know if your guests need privacy and um, you know if you have other guests in the house they can enter the bathroom from this this angle from this area uh, i thought that was a great design and you'll see where they did that on the second floor with the Jack and Jill bathroom design. Now we're on the second floor and as you see the second floor has this beautiful loft area which I love that you come up the steps and it, you're not like boom right in the bedrooms. There's a loft area um, some people call it a den a flex room and uh, the second floor also has the uh, the laundry room which is another unique design 
and this beautiful Jack and Jill design that I mentioned earlier. So you could enter the restroom from the loft area or from either one of the bedrooms and each one of the bedrooms has uh, their own private sink and these little doors, they will have doors there where you can close them. So if you're in the restroom, you can close that door so that your sibling can't enter, but they still have full access to the sink area if they needed to brush their teeth or do their hair or, you know, apply their makeup. You know, you don't have to constantly fight over the restroom. I thought this was a great design. I've seen many designs with the Jack and Jill package, but none like this. So Eastwood Homes did a wonderful job with this. Tell me what you think. I want you to comment below. And as you can see, they have a lot of closet space. And I want to show you one more time the different ways that you could enter this Jack and Jill bathroom situation. Boom. It's your own personal sink. And this is the shared bathroom. And I thought this was a very big closet. This is a walk-in closet. So I would think if you have, um, and that's the second uh, sink for the person that owns this bathroom. And this is how you enter, you know, if you wanted to enter the restroom from the loft area, you could do that, close out the bedroom doors. But this is a great setup, especially if you have, um, let's say, adult children still living in the home and they need privacy. Um, they do have a special feature on the third floor that I think would be perfect for adult children living at home. Um, but again, they left nothing to the imagination. And that's the doorway where you could enter the restroom. So I thought this was another great idea. This is, of course, a bedroom, but they wanted to show you how this room it could be an office. If you are a content creator, this would be a great content creator's room. And, and again, another nice size closet. All the rooms I thought were were pretty large. What do you think? And now let's head on over to the other side of the home where you'll see the laundry room and the primary uh, bedroom. So with the laundry room, you have built-in cabinets and you also have this, can you guess what this is called? You got it. It's called the laundry pass-through and I'll show you what it's connected to. It's just a lot of space, a lot of storage and we are entering the primary suite which i think is a very big space now i'm going to give you a look at the primary suite from different angles um, you have one two three four i think it's five windows so you have a lot of natural lighting coming in there and um i'm sorry it's four windows in the master bedroom. And I love this geometric wood wall art. It's an upgrade, but I like it. You deserve the best. So I love this spa bath and I'm gonna be quiet for real this time and let you take it all in. So remember I pointed out that opening from the laundry room? Well, here's what it's connected to. It's called the laundry pass-through. It's connected to the master bedroom closet. And uh, there's so many different designs for the laundry pass-through, but it's a great idea. I thought it was a pretty nice feature. I love this luxury bath in the primary suite. And I don't know if you noticed they even had 
windows in the bathroom, which I thought was a plus just for a lot of natural uh, lighting to come in. So I'm now going to take you to the third floor, which is an option. I love the third floor. Again, if you have, if you have young adult children or just adult kids at home, well, this is their own private apartment. It's, and it's big enough for them to bring in a re little refrigerator or, or a, um, a microwave. It's, it's like a dorm. It's a lot of uh, storage space, a lot of room in the closet. And um, I'm telling you, this gives new meaning to room over garage. Speaking of garage, this house comes with a double car garage. This is a small community, so none of the houses will have a three-car garage, but it does have the gas fireplace with the stone surround and the cedar mantle. It has the outdoor living package with the paver uh, patio with the fire pit, and I think it has it. Yeah, it does have the seating wall. It also has the smart home connected package, and. Um, yeah, that you you saw the drop zone built ins, and it has a fenced backyard. So if you have any questions, give me a call at seven zero four seven five six two seven five two. I am Tanya Stokes, your Charlotte Realtor. Seven zero four seven five six two seven five two, or info at tanyastokes.com. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my page and give me a call or an email so we can talk about some of the deals that Eastwood Homes is offering as well as um, some options for you, especially if you are a first time home buyer. I'm Tanya Stokes. We'll talk soon. Bye.